At least you were supposed to be back then. Striker, is your operative dead? No one could have survived that explosion. Logan has a way of surviving anything, Agent Darkholm. Emitter 1 is down. All right. Logan, double back to the temple courtyard to await further instructions. Wraith, give me a sweep. Sorry, sir. There's still too much interference. We need to take out the other emitters. Damn it. I need the location of that village. Striker, your team is aware that once they reach the village, they're required to follow strict rules of engagement. Right? Yes, Agent Darkholm. We'd all hate for Washington to receive a bad report from you. because this part of the world is politically sensitive. Shit. We don't need a CIA babysitter telling us how to act. You serious? Come on. Dark Home's a hell of a lot easier to deal with than most of the CIA operatives I've met. You mean she's a hell of a lot easier on the eyes? Can you get a load of this? Do you gentlemen realize this is an open comm line? Sorry, Miss Dark Home. I forgot. <laughs> Greed out.
Visual on two civilians. Detain and interrogate them. Sometimes civilians know more than the military grunts. Will do, boss. Negative. You are not to harm civilians under any circumstances. Agent Darkholm, in case you haven't noticed, this is a hot zone. If I can save the lives of my men by causing a few civilians some discomfort, then I will. You've got authorization to attack armed personnel. But if you start hurting non-combatants... Why don't we blow up that bridge when we come to it? Non-combatants are not to be touched, Stryker. That comes straight from the Director. You might take your orders from the CIA Director, Agent Darkholm, but I don't. And neither does my team. So stay out of our way. Yeah. Yes, sir. And Logan, if you see Raven Darkholm, consider her compromised. John, it's Raven. Damn it, John, where the hell are you? I think I have a line on Creed. That job I got with Kelly is good for some things. He's doing oversight on a black budget program, codenamed <laughs> Wide Awake. What's this have to do with Creed? Well, guess he took a job with them. I don't know what kind of favor you owe that's worth messing with a rabies case like Creed. But if you want to find him, Wide Awake's the best place to start. The main facility is located in the southwest.
Representative Robert Kelly. For five years, the Federal Council on Mutant Activity studied the security risks posed by mutants. In conclusion, mutants could be a threat. Could be. All I have to do is look in the newspaper to verify that mutants are a very real and present danger. There's a girl in New York who can read minds. A young man in Nebraska can generate an office <laughs> And a young woman in Africa who can control the weather potential. Yes, indeed. Personal log, Bolivar Trask. I must say, I was very reluctant to accept Kelly's invitation to join Project Wide Awake. We have a lot to learn about the mutant phenomenon, but the congressman seems to already view them as a threat. I have nothing to do with them. I find them quite fascinating. But how could I decline the chance to work with the best and brightest minds in genetics? Systemized cybernetics lab, where we're turning the dreams of a better world into a reality. Schools in, Bob. Project Wide Awake 
A covert operation designed to deal with the mutant menace that's growing within our borders. And although I had to call in every political favor owed me, I was able to convince them to appoint me the head of the project. Now, we can move forward with what should have been a priority ten years ago. The protection of the human race. Busted up. of the mutant gene is advancing even faster than I had hoped. I've now developed a device that can scan blood simply by putting it in contact with skin. While creating a technology, I've begun to realize that mutants are a threat, but only to themselves when their powers first activate. And this is where I hope mutant detection will have the greatest benefit. If we can find mutants before they become active, we can help them prepare.
Level 5 clearance required. We got Excuse me. Do you have level 5 clearance? Uh, yes, uh, of course. Uh, but... <gasps> Scan verified. Welcome, Dr. Lathrop. Thanks, Doc. Logan. You smell pretty good. For a corpse. After what happened in Africa, being dead was the best way of staying alive. <laughs> 